we already established the brother, the brother of Israelite. Right. So if you don't want to be that two third, that's what you have to do. You have to repent. Right. You have to repent. Right. Repent and come back to your heritage, yes. which is this Bible. Right. You understand that family? Your heritage is this Bible. The Most High God didn't give you religion. Right. He gave you laws, statutes, and commandments. When Moses was leading us out of uh, Egypt on Mount Sinai, right. he gave us commandments. Right. Right. He didn't say, oh, you're going to be a, a Catholic. You're going to be a, 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 a Christianity. You're going to be a Muslim. No, he didn't give us all that. He gave us the commandments of God. Well, most high Christ bless. Ha! Order. Order. Nation in order. My house in order. Who the prophets on the corner? What's that about? They say the Bible just for me. I got to check it out. You scoffers ain't ready. What your name is? I'm Yehuda. All right. So you know you Israel. You're learning you Israel, right? The officer are bringing out some great things. But I want you to listen to this right here. Let's go to Proverbs seven and verse two. You know. Let's go to Proverbs seven and verse two, because you have a very humble spirit on you, man. That's what we need to inherit the kingdom of heaven, right? right? right. right. But God requires something of us. Read what you got. Proverbs chapter seven, verse two. You know. Keep my commandments and live read that from the top again proverbs chapter 7 verse 2 keep my commandments and live so the bottom line let's go to ecclesiastes 12 verse 13. Go. the bottom line uh carrie we have to keep the most high god's commandments right yes. it's good to know we israel right it feel good to know that it feel good to know we above all these nations right right, right? but god requires something of us right. read what you got Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Bring it out. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. So what is the Bible is talking about? What's the conclusion of the whole matter to the blacks, Hispanics, and the Native Americans? Read what you got. Fear God. So we have to fear God. Right. How we fear God? We fear his judgment right. for That's breaking right. his commandments. Right. Because the wages of sin is death. Yes. You understand that? Read what you got. And keep his commandments. Read that again. Fear God and keep his commandments. So we have to fear God and keep his commandments, Terry. So now it's time to test your spirit. It's time to test your spirit, right? Let's go to 1 Corinthians 11. Bring it out. Let's get into some commandments. You know what I'm saying? That we must be keeping. Right. And it's small. It's small. And then we're going to build up, right? So let's see if your spirit built witness with this Bible. Read what you got. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. The head of man is Christ, right? Christ is our head. Right. We honor him, right? Read what you got. And the head of the woman is the man. And we the head of the woman as long as we keep in the commandments. Right. You understand that, Kerry? Read what you got. And the head of Christ is God. And even Christ have a head. When Christ came on this earth, he didn't come to do his own thing. That's right. He was following commandments as well. That's right. The same thing we must do. Read what you got. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 4. You know. Every man praying or prophesying. So when you pray and you prophesy, we prophesying right now. Right. You understand that? Listen to what he got to say. Read. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head Covered. Having his head covered. Having his head covered. Pay attention, Kerry. Read. This honoreth his head. So here you go to quiz, Kerry. Who is our head? Christ. So if you have your head covered, who you dishonoring? So right now, right? Is a fact your head is covered. What you gonna do, Kerry? What you gonna do? All praise. All praise to the most high God. All praise. Let's get up out of hand. All praise to the most high God. Your spirit bearing witness, right? So we're going to go into a few more commandments.
Let's get number 15, verse 38. Read what you got. Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Bring it out. Speak unto the children of Israel. There's no doubt you're a child of God. You just proved that. Right. That's, That's right. right. Read. And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. That, you put on, look, look at our garments, right? Not, look at our shirts. Look at our shirts, Kerry. What you notice know about it? We have fringes on, right? right? That's what we have. You're supposed to have this on as well. That's, That's right. right. Brother, you have any questions? Family, you have any questions? We out here answering questions. Read what you got. Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. No. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them. Command them. That they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generation. So as long as we generate, as long as we generate, read. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. That's why we have this ribbon of blue on it as well. Right. Right? We have to follow basic instructions. Right. Read what you got. Verse 39. And it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. That's what it's for. That's to, right. to look upon them and remember. Man, I gotta be keeping the commandments of God. So if a wicked thought enters into your mind, right. and I'm gonna give you a common one, right? Lust. We love lusting after the woman. Right. right. You understand? Right. We love that. Right. It's in us. It's our instinct, right? So if an attractive woman was to pass, and she had on revealing clothing, because it's a shame, but our sisters dress like that. Right. But the Bible teach against that. That's right. You understand that? So if a sister pass with revealing clothing on, and guess what you, and you look at that, you understand, guess what? You lost. You lost. Right. You understand? Because the Bible say we don't support to be lusting after our sisters. That's That's right. You understand that? The Bible said if you look upon a sister to lust after her, you committed adultery with, with her in your heart already. Right. right. Meaning your mind. Right. You understand that? So that's what the fringes is for. Right. To look up on them to remember the commandments of God. That's that's right. Right. You understand that, Kerry? All right. Let's move on from that. Uh, let's go to the dietary law. Do you eat shrimp, crab, pork, lobster? Do you eat those things? Try not to. All right. Did you know that was a commandment? You did? All right. Today is the Sabbath day. Right. Do you know that today is the Sabbath day? No? Good. We're going to bring that out for you, right? right. Let's go to, uh, let's start in uh, Leviticus 23. No. Let's start in Leviticus 23. Because the day of the Sabbath day, and the Most High God, he gave us order. You know what I'm saying? It's certain things we're supposed to be doing today. Right. Like right now today, we commanded as the children of God to come out here and prophesy to our people right. to wake up to one third. That's right. You understand that? And guess what, Kerry? We need you as a repentant Israelite on this side to get that job done. Right. Right. To get that job done. Right. The kingdom of God ain't going to come by observation. Right. Right. You understand? We got to put our hand to the plow. Right. You understand that? Because when they took the kingdom from them, guess what? They was taking crafty counsel. That's right. Day and night. Right. You understand that? Right now today, they taking crafty counsel day and night right. to keep us in captivity hey. to keep us in a lower state Bring it up. you understand read what you got Leviticus chapter 23 verse 2 speak unto the children of Israel speak to carry speak to carry because this Bible is your book right. it's your history book Right. you got to put yourself in it speak to who speak unto the children of Israel read. and say unto them concerning the feast of the Lord, which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocation. Holy convocation. He gave us high holy days to keep. Right. You understand? Read. Even these are my feasts. Verse 3. Six days shall work be done. So six days we're supposed to be putting in work. Right. You understand? Right. We're supposed to be getting our money to pay our bills right. because we have bills because guess what we have to go to our enemies and want them all things right. you understand that read what you got but 
the seventh day. But what? But the seventh day. If you looked on any calendars, Saturday is the seventh day. Yes, right. You understand? So he's specifically talking about the seventh day, what? which is the Sabbath day. Right. Read what you got. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest. The Sabbath of rest. That's right. Sabbath of rest. You understand that? We support the labor and do all our work for the, those six days. Right. But when Friday sundown come, we have to shut it down. Right. We have to shut it down. If you're working for the oppressor, you're running your own business, you have to shut it down. Right. You understand that? Now, we're going to get some stipulations. You know you're supposed to be resting on a Sabbath day, right? Guess what? Let's get uh, buying and selling. We don't supposed to be buying and selling neither. That's right. You understand? If you look around and you see all these businesses open, Walmart, McDonald's, Burger King. You understand? We don't supposed to go in the stores and buy those, that's buy from them people today. Right. You understand that? Bro, it was so serious that our forefathers wanted to lay hands, lay hands yes. on the people from breaking the Sabbath day. Right. You understand that? You got what I want? Read what you got. Nehemiah chapter 10, verse 31. Bring it up. And if the people of the land bring where? Or any victuals. Where? Where are any victuals? That's our, wa our Walgreens, Walmart, the clothing stores. Right. You understand that? Where are any victuals? Read. On the Sabbath day. On the Sabbath day. Hey, right. family, listen up. If you're black, Hispanic, or Native American, you are a, you are a child of God. That's right. right. You're an Israelite according to the Bible. Right. Read what you got. And if the people of the land bring where? Or any victuals? On the Sabbath day to sell. To sell. To sell. Carry, pay attention to me, family. That this is your salvation. Right. Read. That we would not buy a bit on the Sabbath. So we don't supposed to be buying and selling on the Sabbath day. Right. You understand? Prepare your meals before. You understand? Let's get Exodus 16, 23. Exodus 16, 23. What is it saying? Oh, we can eat. We can eat, but we have to prepare our meals beforehand. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? Because God is dealing with an organized nation. Right. You understand that? So you got to prepare your meals beforehand. Let's read that. Read what you got. Exodus chapter, chapter 16, verse 23. Yeah. And he said unto them, This is which the Lord have said. Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath unto the Lord. Bake that which ye will bake today and see that he will see and that which remaineth over lay up for you to be kept until the morning it's simple as this right here carry carry you heard the leftovers hey you love some leftovers right it be good that's what they're talking about right. it's saying eat leftovers right. or eat cereal and milk right. eat cold cuts i grew up on cold cuts that's right, that's right. You understand? Eat cold cuts. But keep the Sabbath day holy. That's the bottom line. You understand what I'm talking about, fam? Let's get uh, Psalms 119, verse 9. Psalms 119. I'm going to give it right back to the officer. Psalms 119, verse 9. Yeah. Yeah. They have the wrong day. But guess what? A lot of them know. A lot of them know the truth. But they made an agreement with the oppressor. That's right. You ever seen that movie, uh, the, what I want, Nat Turner, Birth of a Nation? You seen that? And then when they got Nat Turner to teach the Bible, right? right. They told him what to say. Right. They told him what to preach. Right. And he was going around from plantation to plantation teaching a certain doctrine according to the white man. Right. And guess what it was? It was isolated scripture. Right. Like slaves obey your master, you know. Right. But when you dig into that, you will see it wasn't it wasn't talking about them. Right. It was talking about us as a people. Yes. Because this book is only for us. Right. You understand that? So he was going around speaking on a certain doctrine, like the Christian Church today. Right. These pastors they go to those schools to learn a certain doctrine, right. to teach to our people to keep us in mental bondage yes, right. but the most high god say you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free right. what is the truth the truth is the keeping of the commandments yes. you understand that family that's what we have to do 
Watch this here. Psalms 119, verse 9. Psalms chapter 119, verse 9. Bring it out. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? That's the question all of us ask ourselves. How can I clean my ways? How can I come out the uh the walls of Babylon the Great? The walls of America. How can I come from under this oppressor? Right. Right. How shall a young man clean his ways? Read. By taking heed thereto according to thy word. So we have to take heed to the law, statutes, and commandments. Right. Right. We read it earlier. Right. The bottom line is to keep the commandments. Right. Right. You understand that, family? That's how a young man clean his ways. Right. We have to return to our God. Right. Guess what? Nuclear fire is coming to America. Right. Guess what? If you don't want to be on the wrong side, if you don't want to be that two-thirds, because we already established the brother of the Israelite. Right. So if you don't want to be that two-thirds, guess what you have to do? You have to repent. Right. You have to repent. Right. Repent and come back to your heritage, which is this Bible. Right. You understand that, family? Your heritage is this Bible. The Most High God didn't give you religion. He gave you laws, statutes, and commandments. When Moses was leading us out of uh, Egypt on Mount Sinai, he gave us commandments. Right. He didn't say, oh, you're going to be a, a Catholic. You're going to be a, 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 a Christianity. You're going to be a Muslim. No, he didn't give us all that. He gave us the commandments of God. You understand? Let's get that. Uh, Deuteronomy 33, verse 4. Deuteronomy 33, verse 4. What is our heritage? Right. What is we known for? Right. What we known for? Eating chicken, eating watermelon? Right. No, no, we the greatest people ever. Right. You understand right. that? We gotta be known for something greater. Right. Watch this, read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse four. Bring it out. Moses commanded us a law, even the inheritance of the congregation of Jacob. You see that? Moses gave us laws, statutes, and commandments yes, right. to keep. Right. Moses. He gave us laws, statutes, and commandments. Right. Yeah, through the spirit of the Most High. Right. You understand? Oh, since we don't want no confusion, but we're going to show you that. Get Deuteronomy 9, verse 10. That's what I want. Right. Deuteronomy 9, verse 10. The Most High God, he gave the commandments to Moses to give to us. Right. You understand? So his whole Bible is, is inspired by the Most High. That's right. right. You understand? And he used the prophets, which is the children of Israel, you understand, right. to relate his message. Like right. right now, we relate his message to you. Right. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 9, verse 10. Bring it up. And the Lord delivered unto me two tables of stones written with the finger of God. You see that? It was written by God. That's all. It was written by the Most High God. That's right. But the what? The oppressor tell you, oh, that Bible man made. Right. Right. You understand? That what the oppressor tell you. Right. Some simple as that to get you to be like, oh, I don't believe that Bible. You know? They'll go as far as say, oh, King James was a homosexual, right. but they can't prove it. That's right. right. Matter of fact, King James was an Israelite That's from right. the tribe of Judah. That's right. You understand that? And he authorized the Bible. Right. It wasn't no coincidence. He, co he authorized the Bible in 1611 and we came on this side of the world in 1619. Right. That wasn't no coincidence. Right. It's a spiritual warfare, family. Right. Right. You understand that? It's a spiritual warfare. Let's yeah. get that in 2 Timothy. All scripture is given by inspiration of right. God. Right. Let's get that. Let's show the brother that. 2 Timothy, what? 316? Yes, sir. Read what you got. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. Bring it out. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. You see that? All scripture, this whole Bible yes. is given by the inspiration of God. Right. Man. You understand that? So man didn't write this Bible. Right. You understand? Moses, what? He was doing what he was commanded to do. Right. Which is what? Deliver the commandments to the children of Israel. Yes. That's it, family. What is our heritage? Our heritage is the commandments. Right, right. Sirach 17 and 11. Right. Sirach 17 and 11. But guess what, family? We discontinue from our heritage. Why? Why? Because we didn't want to obey. Right. Obey, obey, obey. 
That's a, that's a hard thing for the blackest man, man to do, right. is to obey right. simple instructions. Right. That's why this Bible is redundant. Right. The most I go, he's saying the same old thing. Same old, you can read one scripture right. and it's telling you the same thing, thing in three different ways. Right. You understand? Read what you got. Sirach chapter 17, verse 11. Bring it out. Besides this, he gave them knowledge and the law of life for inheritance. So what is our heritage, Kerry? The laws. The laws. Right. The, laws. Right. the laws. Right. The laws. And we have to come back to that. That's right. right. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.